The winner is Milos Forman. It is March 29, 1976 at the 48th Academy Awards ceremony in Los Angeles, California. Czech filmmaker Milos Forman has just won the Academy Award for directing One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, a film that would win along with Best Director, Best Lead Actor, Best Lead Actress, Best Screenplay, and Best Picture. Cuckoo's Nest was the second of only three films to win the Oscar in all five of these categories, following It Happened One Night in 1934 and preceding The Silence of the Lambs in 1991. There is no doubt that it was Foreman's brilliance as a director that made One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest the classic that it remains today. However, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest was only Foreman's second feature film since moving to the United States. You see, Milos Forman got his start as a director in his home country of Czechoslovakia, with his first big film being 1965's The Loves of a Blonde, about a factory girl during the war who moves in with a jazz musician and his parents. The Loves of a Blonde was a major film in the Czech New Wave, a film movement started in the 1960s by film students rebelling against the communist takeover of Czechoslovakia that started in 1948. Forman's next film, titled The Fireman's Ball, is a comedy about a volunteer fire department in a small Czech town. There was a great deal of controversy surrounding the film after its release due to the censors of the Czechoslovakian Communist Party who felt that the film satirized the government. It was banned after only a few weeks. These films gained recognition outside of Czechoslovakia and both were nominated for Best Foreign Film at the Academy Awards. Shortly after the release of The Fireman's Ball, Foreman was visiting Paris when the Soviet invasion of Czechoslovakia occurred to squash the loosening restrictions on media, speech, and travel that was taking place in 1968. He decided to leave his home country permanently and take up residence in New York City. It isn't hard to see why Foreman was the perfect choice to direct a film about a man rebelling against the oppressive staff of a mental hospital. After the enormous success of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Foreman directed the psychedelic counterculture musical, Hair. Both Hair and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest were previously performed in the theater, as was his next picture, Amadeus. Amadeus earned Foreman another Best Directing Oscar, and the film took home the Best Picture Prize at the 57th Academy Award Ceremony. Both Amadeus and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest made use of many character actors playing the smaller roles, which came to be a trademark for the director. Many of these actors got their start in Foreman's films, including Christopher Lloyd, Vincent Schiavelli, and Danny DeVito. I think uh, that the small uh, you know, parts, you know, bit parts, are as important as the main uh, characters. In a certain way, I am paying even more attention to uh, casting the small bit parts because they have to be, you know, once you see them, you will never forget them. This affected his style greatly. Because there were often many characters in one scene, it was essential for the scenes to be built upon reaction shots. We can see a similar approach in his later films as well. Milos Forman is responsible for some of cinema's most iconic films, and his unique perspective helped bring the influence of the Czech New Wave to a new generation of filmmakers.